Unit 15, Space Conquest, Part A. Reading. One. At 9:07 a.m. Moscow time on April 12, 1961, Yuri Gagarin lifted off into space aboard the Vostok 1. Approximately 12 minutes later. The first human being was in orbit around the Earth, at a speed of more than seventeen thousand miles per hour. His flight lasted one hundred and eight minutes. Two. The twenty-seven-year-old Soviet cosmonaut became the first person to eat and drink in weightlessness. From his window in space, Gagarin was able to view the Earth. In a way that no human beings had done before. The first words spoken from space were, "I see the Earth; it's so beautiful." Three. Before Gagarin's historic flight, there were still enormous uncertainties. No one knew precisely what would happen to a human being in space. How would the body react to the extreme changes in temperature? How would the mind deal with the psychological tension? If there was a technical failure, Gagarin might never get back to the Earth. Four. The success of Gagarin's flight attracted worldwide attention and made him a hero. In a telegram to Moscow. U.S. President John F. Kennedy wrote, "The people of the United States share with the people of the Soviet Union their satisfaction for the safe flight of the astronaut in man's first venture into space. We congratulate you and the Soviet scientists and engineers who made this feat possible." Five. Gagarin could have made another space flight. If a tragic accident had not occurred, he died in a plane crash on a routine training flight in March 1968. After his death, his hometown of Gazahatsk was renamed Gagarin, and the cosmonaut training center at Star City, Russia, was given the name of this national hero. You will hear a talk about the first human moon landing, one of the most important historical events in the 20th century. Listen to the talk and do the tasks that follow. Task one: Listen and decide whether the following statements are true or false. In a speech to Congress in 1961, the United States President Kennedy challenged the nation. To put a man on the moon before the end of the decade. After the president's speech, NASA's Apollo program was developed to meet the challenge. On July 16, 1969, the Apollo 11 was launched. The astronauts on board of the spacecraft were Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. On July 20, 1969. Neil Armstrong became the first man on the moon. He was followed by Aldrin 40 minutes later. To walk on the moon's surface, the astronauts needed to wear a spacesuit with a portable life support system. This controlled the oxygen temperature and pressure inside the space suit. Armstrong and Aldrin spent a total of two and a half hours on the moon's surface. They performed a variety of experiments, and collected soil and rock samples to return to the Earth. An American flag was left on the moon's surface as a reminder of the achievement. The crew of Apollo 11 returned to Earth on July 24, 1969. They successfully completed their historic mission. It is regarded. As one of the greatest human efforts in the history of mankind. Listen to the talk and do the tasks that follow. 
Task 1. Listen and decide whether the following statements are true or false. In a speech to Congress in 1961, the United States President Kennedy challenged the nation to put a man on the moon before the end of the decade. After the President's speech, NASA's Apollo program was developed to meet the challenge. On July 16, 1969, the Apollo 11 was launched. The astronauts on board of the spacecraft were Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first man on the moon. He was followed by Aldrin 40 minutes later. To walk on the moon's surface, the astronauts needed to wear a spacesuit with a portable life support system. This controlled the oxygen, temperature, and pressure inside the space suit. Armstrong and Aldrin spent a total of two and a half hours on the moon's surface. They performed a variety of experiments and collected soil and rock samples to return to the Earth. An American flag was left on the moon's surface as a reminder of the achievement. The crew of Apollo 11 returned to Earth on July 24, 1969. They successfully completed their historic mission. It is regarded as one of the greatest human efforts in the history of mankind. Part C. Listening. Listen and repeat. Congress. Mission. Reminder. Challenge. Experiment. Achievement. NASA Michael Collins Neil Armstrong Kennedy Apollo Buzz Aldrin Part E Language Focus Pronunciation Listen and repeat. Went. Rent. Tenant. Didn't. End. Remind. Warned. Friend. Month, seventh, tenth, thirteenth, chance, Florence, glance, tense. Phones, learns, barns, tons. Practice reading aloud the dialogue. Florence, Mr. Barnes went out on the 10th of last month. Oh, I have warned you, haven't I? Did he pay the rent? Only to the 7th. Only to the seventh? Yes, and we may have no chance to see him again. Is he your friend? No, Mr. Barnes is not my friend. And if he phones, remind him that he must pay the rent to the end of the month. Don't be so tense. We'll have a new tenant on the 13th of this month. 